Hi for my name is Hasdan from the Insane Gamers and this is Gran Turismo 6 episode 17. It should actually be episode 18, but uh, if you saw the video, um, it's not, unfortunately. It's not. In the last episode, I did these six, uh, well, I say the last video, I mean the video that I recorded but didn't technically record because Capture Card was a piece of shit. Yeah, I, I did these. I, I did this. Uh, I forgot what car this is. Did the uh, the Alpine, the KTM, the Dino, the BMW, the Lotus, and the Mercedes. Now I need to do these. I hate it when stuff like this happens. It's so annoying. Right, let's do the Quattro Valley car. It's so annoying when stuff like that happens because you spend like an hour doing it for some reason. Like I spent like an hour recording that and then I was like, oh, it, like, it'll be edited down. And then I, I find out that it didn't actually record at all. It's so stupid. Anyway, my rant is now over. This uh, rally car. And I won't go in cockpit view, but as you just saw, literally, uh, I'm also out of the car. That is the problem with this. Uh, there is no cockpit view. Well, these cockpit view For some reason, I thought the steering wheel was bigger and I couldn't see where I was going. Maybe it's just because I just put the chair. Car likes to force its way off the track. I mean, rally cars like driving off the road, so that's a good problem here. Hey, this thing does have wipers, which is good. Um, I figured out a way of driving this thing now. It's called braking, and uh, actually driving. No, it's trying to go off the track. We missed a lot of good stuff in the last episode. Because um, I was driving that Mercedes and every time you tried to turn the corner, it's trying to drive off the track again. Every time you tried to turn the corner, it just instantly spin out. It's so annoying. Whoa! <laughs> Disqualified for barrier collision. That was... Oh, the front lines don't actually flash. It's a big one. Be effective. That was the, the scariest thing ever. Oh, well, my reaction probably was like, I'm not a very good reaction person. I'm like, mm -hmm. what happened. Maybe if I play some I don't like horror games, because I get scared of it. That's kind of what happened, but I would like instantly snap back the way I'm going. Yeah, the, uh, the big lights don't come. This is a lot more than the previous ones I was doing. That's not the series. I like this view, I just don't like it for festival of speed because the world is too small. It's annoying. I re I should really do the loom. And this Lord March is me. I'm kinda of getting more comfortable with dragons. I feel like I'm going faster. Yeah, I might actually do it. A drums, which isn't good, but isn't bad. Right, what's the next car? Uh, I, I saw an Aston Martin. Is that the one that's next? Hey, more money! <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm not gonna attempt to do it. Uh, but previous, uh, when I last recorded, I was doing this really posh British, uh, yeah, posh British accent. Um, because it's obviously Lord March had, uh, invited me to, <laughs> to do it. But then, Lord March. Do you think he's a real person? Uh, you know what, hang on. Now that I'm back, let's do the target thing. Uh, in this lovely looking ass Martin. Come on, let's go. I'm going over drive. No, that is, that is wrong. And I immediately dropped the drive. But uh, yeah, in other driving games, the Aston. and in this one actually. Martin do. Like the See how like the rev needle goes left to right, it goes up and down. Don't drive off the track in this car of which there is only 77 in the world. Find out if Lord March actually exists. Cortana, how old is Lord March? Uh, okay. It, she misspelled the word Lord, apparently, but she's searching. I'm just going to type Lord March in and just see if he actually exists. He's age 59. He's the Earl of March, apparently. So yeah, he actually exists. Look at that sucks. Stop. Like, seriously, that is not Driving off the track. Ooh, look at the way Aston Martins have their headlights. And the way, like, Grand Turismo is so the ill professor in, like, the light. Like, yeah. They knew this game was good. All these people disappointed in me. I'm not a good driver in this one. Why the hell did Aston Martin ask me to drive this? Why the hell did Lord... No! Nope. Right. Yeah, that, that is a weird way of... Uh, I'm going to drive it in this field because I can see where the side of the car is. Like, look how... small this road is. It's obvious because it's not designed to... Like this is... I believe it was originally a house. It may still actually be a house. I think it's a much more just place now. Maybe, I don't know. I've never actually been to the good place after this But... Let's see how close this is. Also, notice how I'm driving better. Ooh. Ooh. So close. Um, yeah, I don't think it's a, 
it's a house. I'm not sure if it's still a house, but it it definitely was a house. And um, so obviously it wasn't designed for cars to go down at speed. Let's see size of the engine. Six seven hundred and forty nine XP. XP PHP. XP, no, that'd be like a video game thing. I mean, what's this? The, um... The GT40! I almost said the GT6! Because that's what game we're playing! Look, the Goodwood Festival Speed. Do you reckon at some point in the future Gran Turismo is going to have every single car ever made in it? I always wanted that as like a game in like a game. A game with every single car in it and a game where you can drive the entire world. I think that'd be pretty cool. God, this car is slow at that sort of thing. I just cut that corner and it was like, nope, you didn't go off the track. And I did it again. Hi everybody, I bet you were expecting to see something faster than this. But yeah, imagine it, a game where you could drive on every single bit of road and across the back end. I think that's every person's dream. I mean, it'd be like a... Like, I've been playing Euro Trick Simulator recently, which makes me sound like a complete nerd. But Euro Trick Simulator is actually a relaxing game. It doesn't sound like it, it sounds like it's going to be all the fun. But I've got some friends on all the other and they all agree. It's boring, it's actually somewhat fun. Yeah, oh god. Yeah, lost it. If you break too much, you are going to lose the back end. <laughs> Look at those people taking a picture. It's like, that's going on YouTube later. Well, picture, video. It's like, that's going on YouTube later. Guy losing control and crashing. Good with festival speed. Yeah, could you imagine being able to drive every single car in the world and drive anywhere you want? But it's going to be I feel like the road and the off road courses and stuff. That'd be pretty cool. Right? You could add like motorbikes and stuff, and that'd also be like motorbikes. I'm just going to say planes, but let's try not to make this into a Auto, a helicopter, something like that. I mean, I assume you could have like trucks and stuff in So, like, I must say it in the British way, you must add lorries into it. That's what I'm, I'm playing, I'm playing Euro lorries in there. And we'll set that case. But yeah, uh, imagine that being a that being an amazing game. It's probably not going to work anymore, though, if you think about it, because if they did have every single car in the world in it, it's just sad. Because think about it, like think of all the cars where like none of them exist anymore. Jesus Christ, Lord March, are you going to send me any more? What, what's he going to have me drive now? New Alfa Romeo, a Lamborghini Countach, a Lancia Stratos. <laughs> this is the thing, like, oh yeah, go to the Goodwood Festival of Speed. The, the thing is, right, because I've been doing this Let's Play and I've been ignoring them, they're all just piling up when I do them. Yeah, I, I I don't know anything, any game development, but I'm somehow going to get to work on that game. Oh, I don't like the back of this thing. I also don't like that view, it doesn't work for this thing. All the views on this car suck, because this one 
going to give you the upper room. Oh god, can you imagine that? Driving... No, that's stupid. Can you imagine driving a bus around Nürburgring? <laughs> That'd be amazing. Yeah, that's got to be done. It's been called... World Driving Simulator. Or some, well, maybe not having a simulator. That would sound like... Okay. Oh, god, it'd be awful, because, like... <laughs> <laughs> It'd be awful, you'd be driving like your, your Lamborghini going over the speed limit on the M1 and then you get to like some bit of construction. <laughs> so the M1 is always under construction for some reason. Yay! Okay. I got silver. Again. But yeah, World Driving Simulator. Or maybe, like, hopefully someone will come up with a better title. That needs to be made. It definitely needs to be made. Maybe it'd be Gran Turismo 7 or 8 or something. No, because it'd take like years to be created. I forgot he does need to sign a crack at once. I don't particularly care uh pay attention to game, game designers. 20 gig recommended space. I, I looked on the back of the um presentation of six thing. The box and put them as a name somewhere on it. But that was not. There was just a thing telling me that 20 gigabyte of space is recommended for us. Storage. So the load times God, could you imagine the size of it? Someone was telling me that um X Plane oh, God, X Plane 10, a game that's three years old at this point. But it's a Oh cool! They actually modeled this stuff. Yeah, X Plane 10. It's a flight simulator, it's about three years old. And it's what they uh, actually use to actually train pilots, I think. Someone told me that, I'm not sure if it's actually true that they use that to train pilots, but I imagine it probably is. It's clean to me. And, uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty cool because the base game is like 8, eight gigabytes. Oh no, 5 gigabytes for the base game. Because that's like how much the demo is. However, it has the entire world mapped out from like there, because obviously it's a flight simulator and the pilots need to be taught lots of dangerous conditions and stuff. I'm just going to deliberately collide the wall because of that and horrible slamming on the brakes that somehow happened. But yeah. I would suspect that that would be it. Anyway. So yeah, the entire world was technically mapped out on that game from real world data. And the textures alone are 60 gig. Of like high quality planes. And um, like all the like and the thing is it's not even like realistic well it is sort of realistic. But you know like Grand Turismo and all that. I couldn't hit the bricks in time. You notice how like all the trees and stuff behind me there. There, probably. I've never been here, but that that's probably what all the trees look like. It pretty much exactly, and they're in those locations. With like explain whatever, that's not all completely true. Like the trees and everything, or what the ground looks like. Like they'll just have to be pretty much a, a couple of different road surfaces. A bit weird though when they don't install like um someone told me the game the base game still contains the Jesus. Yeah. The base game still contains all the airports in the world because obviously it's needed for the flight simulator and stuff. But <laughs> it's that stupid is. There's no like small texture of what the world could look like. So you just have airports in the middle of the ocean. Like, say there's like a US pilot that's doing it. Yes, get trained. 
and the the obviously runs on off PC duh and uh, <laughs> they have to insert the disc obviously install it all so if they only install the base game and the America like the North America thing which I assume will take about two discs all that but they need to fly to Europe well they can't do that because they can, they can still fly there and all the airports will still be there because all the airports are still in the base game but the like the, the actual continent technically doesn't exist although I still think like all the collision data might, might exist so that's a bit weird just like crashing in and out Yeah, imagine that in like a driving game, it'd be awesome. Even if it is just like not as good as this and which is like Whoa. Okay, this car likes it right. Even if they just like model all the cars but just nick the real world data off like Google or whatever. It'd be a bit weird though driving into like area 51 or whatever. Let, let's be honest, Area 51 exists. It's just probably some containers. Or alien technology. Oh, I don't even one white. You know, I, I feel like having to drive in this field, but Yeah, this feels like I'm in the middle of the car. But yeah. It's been amazing yeah. Like, you just drive anywhere you want, really. Because there'll be a lot of people complaining. On my... Farms. It's like, oh, people can drive to my house and find it where I live and stop it for more. And yeah, that could put out. Could you watch it? Like, imagine an online multiplayer thing. That'd be awesome. Actually, that'd be kind of creepy. Thing where, like, I just thought of something really weird. Like, what if it picked your IP address and spawned you at me in the house? Because obviously they can pin, but they can't exactly pinpoint where your house, where in the world your house is. From your IP. Like, they can't. This is how like IP tracking works. Like they can't exactly trick track you down to your house. They just they can. You have like a server for like your look at like mo if it's a big place, multiple servers for one location, for one area up on the map, and then you go through one of those servers. So they can find they can track you down to that server, and then. It's stuff like, will I get another good wood just for the speed train? Don't think so. So it's time for Lunar Exploration. In fact, no! Lunar Exploration will be the next episode. I've been Hazard for the Insane Games. Thanks for watching. to -ra. Hey guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content like this.